Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mana, and today we're going to do something a little different. With the upcoming base game going free, I've decided maybe we should start building some base game builds. We're going to speed build today. I know I don't usually do this, but I want to try branching out and try, you know, making my builds a little bit better. Maybe some feedback would be great from you guys to help me out a bit. I will not say that I am a professional Sims 4 builder, so very kind, you know, helpful criticism is absolutely necessary. Please help me. If I'm doing something really weird, like, why are you doing that? Please let me know so I don't do that again. And maybe a little easier tips and tricks. That would be great. All right, let's hop into it and see what I've created for you. So we're going to build our two story, three bedroom, two bathroom base game starter home. Wow, that is a lot to say in one go, but that's what we got going on today. It's pretty simple. I've just made a box and we're going to go with it. It's cute and it's little and I really, really enjoyed like I really like how the the shell turned out it's really nice it's really cute and quaint and it's perfect for a starter home just simply because you when you start out and you don't use the cheats you don't use a lot of stuff you want to be able to save some money to buy a computer and all that stuff i'm not putting any of those things in this shell so you will have to save up for those things it it's 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 an expensive starter home i won't i won't lie it is an expensive starter home now i really like how this layout came out it's it's kind of different it's it's a little weird at times i know it, go bear with me here it does come together pretty good and it does seem to work quite well for this <laughs> I, yeah, I have to open the space up just a smidge so I can get these stairs in here. I like that I can squish the stairs and put them all the way nice in the back and I can make that little room off to the side, which is going to be our bathroom. At least I can make it a little bit bigger, make it a little more functional. And I like these doors. I keep forgetting about these doors. They're the cheapest doors, but they are so cute. They have a little bit of glass on the top, so it lets in a little more light. I like it. I love it. And upstairs here, the it is kind of weird, the layout, having to use the angles. But I got three bedrooms, three very nice sized bedrooms up here. It's a little hard to see right now, like what could be used as a master bedroom. Seeing as how they're all very, very similar sized. But I eventually make it work. It's kind of hard. I'm, it's good. The sizes are good for kids. They're good for babies rooms. You could knock out a wall and have a fairly big two bedroom house instead of a three bedroom now this this roofing it is the oh it makes me mad i'm not a very good roofer but i think i did get it working so that at least it looks looks nice i don't it bothers me to have that line. You'll see me tinkering with the roof, trying to get that that roof line out of my peak. So if you're wondering why I'm deleting everything, I'm just trying to get rid of that that line through the peak. It bothers me. I don't know why it should. I'm sure other houses have it, but and I can never remember when you're pulling down the extra eve, what is that cheat? I can never remember. Is it shift and click or control shift? Ah, I can never remember. <laughs> leave me, leave it in the comments so I'll always have it, please. If you know it, please help me out. Of course, got to make all the colors all match. I'm going with the blue theme here. 
it's just a cute little blue house I like that blue actually it's kind of a grayy blue it's not like screaming like that front door and of course you got to add in the pucks and we're starting putting in our our bathroom fixtures and I just I like bathrooms bathrooms are fun bathrooms are cute they're little they're quick and you don't have too much uh, this cheat is you just push control F and it gives you the quarter tile if you were curious and of course you can also control F to get rid of it I really like all these paints and stuff but I want to keep with that blue theme so basic move in ready rental house white <laughs> on the inside but I really needed to warm up the space so the bathroom is brown the bathroom is brown upstairs we're gonna start doing the bedrooms and this big bathroom this bathroom is huge so it it, it kind of it throws me for a loop sometime and I think we need more carpet for the base Four four swatches of carpet in the base game that's just ridiculous and they're stupid swatches I don't know I don't have any carpet in my house so maybe that I have a prejudice against carpet carpet it could be I hate carpet it's dirty it's gross it's to me it smells this little little back gate here our back porch is uh, it drove me crazy that stupid door so we're gonna try and decorate this itty bitty living room space it's going to be basic basic I don't want to add too too much stuff so then hey, you can add to it you can take away from it it's not gonna break the bank to decorate this house and I, I feel very limited when I'm building with the just the base game because I really want to just load it up, put everything in here. Maybe another time we'll have to play with this, play with this shell and get everything all together. This dining room drove me crazy. I know I could have just made it a little bit bigger, but then it would have cost a little more and I'm already pushing it at the end you'll see I'm pushing the price tag here so ah, I wish <laughs> I'm trying not to use the move objects cheat just simply because I'm feeling as though if you're brand new to the sims and you don't know that cheat off by heart it's kind of a pain in the butt to find so I'm just going to try and build basic no cheats to get in here so if things look a little weird like some stuff pulled away from the wall just us veterans know this weird just know I'm trying trying to save some stuff for these newbies that are coming in they just don't know they'll eventually figure it out but yeah, this, this kitchen, I had such high hopes for this kitchen. I had it all set up so nice and perfect the way I wanted it. Oh, it was so cute. I liked the way this turned out. Like this little shoe, horseshoe shape. It was really cute, except, I mean, the fridge and the oven don't match. They're, the swatches are supposed to match, but you can tell one is a little more green or one is a little more blue than the other. Oh, and I like these base game cabinets. I do. They're crisp. They're clean. But as you can see, I'm uh, they're a little too perfect. They're a little too nice. I'm eventually going to have to delete all of it. So I'm a little pouty right now. And I don't know about you guys, but I always put my kitchen sink where there's a window. I have never been in a house where the kitchen sink was where a blank wall was it, it feels weird to me i always feel like where i am you have to look be able to see outside from your kitchen window now these bedrooms i'm trying to see which one fits a double bed really well i'm really hoping that that bay window fed it fits the double bed but it ultimately it it doesn't so i'll figure it out eventually here I'm trying to decorate these basic bedrooms is kind of hard i'm pushing the limits of my 
my budget, but also I really want nice things in, in the bedrooms. They're bedrooms. We, we like nice things in our bedrooms. And I do like that dresser, that wardrobe, I should say. It's a wardrobe. It's very nice. And I like the fact that there's all those nice colored swatches. So we're going to be working on this nice big bathroom. I like the blues in here. I do like the blue theme that's going on. Growing up, I there was blue all over the place in my parents' house. So maybe I just, am, it's a little comfort kick. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I'm a little partial to blue. I'm sure my family, if they're watching this, probably think, why didn't I make a teal house? Because that's my color. I like teal. Teal everything. I, they would be my dream home if I had teal everywhere. And these little rugs too. They almost seem too big, but when I shrink them down, they look weird. Got to get those towel racks. Get them all nice. Got to be able to get our Sims to pretend like they're going to grab a towel on the way out the shower or... Yeah, see, I figured it out. Got to get rid of that that one over there and just make have a nice little little bed i like these little wrought iron beds too they're really cute and really quaint i like the i just like them i just like the way they look and then the little desks i think that the teenagers or the kids will want to do their homework there i could have made one of these into a baby's room but when you're first starting out, sometimes you're not your family off the hop. Sometimes you're playing by with a single sim and going from there. But here I finally figured out, yeah, well, we'll make this the master bedroom. And here I am over budget by quite a bit. <laughs> it, yeah, I, I'm in oh, no mode. So I'm going to start taking things out, swapping some things for cheaper items and it's it's just a sad moment for this kitchen oh i really do need to redo this shell <laughs> and make it so i have my ideal little two-story house in all the packs all the things that i want in it maybe next time because Oh, I like this shell. I like the way it turned out. At least the rooms aren't huge. So when you take things out and minimal, have minimal things, it doesn't look empty. At least it looks cozy and still looks like things can fit in. Um, those pillars are not the pillars I want. The round doesn't really quite go, but now I have to change out the stairs because I picked a fairly expensive staircase but then this way I can get blue stairs so but let's jump in and look at this place I hope you guys like this speed build it's it's kind of new for me I the last speed build was a bunker so <laughs> It's nice to get into a family home. That's what I like to play in. I love the family homes. I like them. I, I enjoy building family, family homes and micro homes. Oh, we are going to have to get into a lot more builds. If you have any requests about my build, drop me a line on my Twitter. I see those quite quickly at mana underscore witch well that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed the speed build i'm gonna have to say goodbye guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye now